<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Camden, and welcome to my YouTube channel where I'm trying to help a lot of teachers get money, get paid, make a difference in the lives of many people, travel, and to basically create the life of their dreams. No joke. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk about a question that a lot of people wanna know. So hopefully, from the title, you guys saw this. So it's how much money do I make on Palfish? Well, before I get into like the exact answer, this is a great time to express how long it has taken me to get to the level that I am. Because so many people, I understand people are anxious, people are excited. It's a really awesome application that you get the opportunity to teach people from your phone and get paid. And that's the fact. So anyway, when I first started, I was on Nicaragua in Little Corner Island. And when I downloaded Palfish, I got approved. And I started at 0 0.7 RMB per minute. So basically, I was making close to nothing. My first month, I made like $77. Everything went through on PayPal, and I got paid. And I said, okay, it's legit. They really do pay. This is kind of crazy. Um, so anyway, the next month, it went from like $77 to a lot more money. Because one phone call on a cool morning in Boulder. So I went from Nicaragua... Then I took a bus to Costa Rica, and then I flew from Costa Rica to Boulder, Colorado. And when my six weeks that I was in Boulder, I was on this hammock. And I'll never forget, just like this one student just opened me up to what is really possible in Asia or Southeast Asia. Specifically China, Thailand, and just the whole of here. So if any of you guys are really also thinking about moving to Southeast Asia, definitely this video is for you also. So... In the phone call, one of my uh, students, she was like, hey, why don't you just, if you don't know where you want to do, why don't you just come to China and teach? You could easily get a job. You can make really good money. So why not do it? And I'm like, yeah, well, I don't really have a, any idea what I'm going to do um, because I don't really have a good job. I'm traveling. I'm living out of my suitcase, basically. Um, sleeping at people's houses who I don't really know. And they're just, uh, I'm helping them with things, you know, it's an equal exchange. I'm helping them to do something with their work and then I get to stay for free. So it kind of works out, you know, I do my part. But um, it was not something that I wanted to keep doing. So of course, I was in a specific time. I met someone on Facebook. Thank you, Esther. And at that time, I was living on a farm in a tent. That's right, I was living on a farm in a tent. And I started to be online more because I was staying up later. And so more people started to call me on Palfish. And I started to realize that, hey, I'm going to work my way up. So I started charging a little bit more money, like 1.1 RMB per minute. And as I started to go up, I was like, wow, it's really working. So anyway, I started to get more calls. More people started to come to Palfish. And then I said, okay, I need to come to Asia. I met someone in Hong Kong and I said, let's do it. It's my opportunity. I got to do it. So I reached out to someone and they were not willing to lend me the money. So at that moment, I was kind of like depressed and I told the friend, I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm $200 short. Um, so I don't know. I can't come to Hong Kong. And I was like, the person was like, don't worry, like, just wait, you know, everything's going to be okay. So basically, I reached out to someone that I knew in Costa Rica and someone that I have only seen six times basically lend me $700 out of goodwill. And I'm, you know, paying that person back. So it's all good. That money is returned. Now, that moment when I got that money and I booked that plane to Hong Kong, I'll never forget it. You can find that video. It's somewhere in my YouTube channel. It's like in the back videos whenever like just like raw and unedited and stuff. So when anyway, when I came to Hong Kong, I was on the time zone. That was huge. I was on the same time zone. So I think that one of the things, honestly, a big factor 
in your Powerfish success, if you look at the most active, the most successful people, the highest rate people, they're usually within an hour or two of China time zone. Usually, in Th- most, most of the teachers are in Thailand and China, Southeast Asia. Some are different places, of course. Some are teaching from the US and Canada, different places, but it's not easy to be up at 5 a.m. and trying to be cheerful and drinking coffee and all that. You know, it's so much easier to be doing it like on their time of day. So anyway, when I came to Hong Kong, and this is why I always promote live shows, you know, this is how much money I make. It's because I started to do live shows. So when I did this live show in Hong Kong, people saw that I was in not mainland China, but I was still in, you know, in Asia, I was in China. Um, And when I had this really attractive cover photo with me and the city in the back, all these people came. So that started a, a really good following. And then I started to ask for more money. And then from Hong Kong, after one month, I moved here to Thailand. And as I came here, I was a bit confused because I was working for that other online teaching company and I was just doing Powfish a little bit because I just wasn't online so much and Powfish was still, um, you know, in its baby stages. However, November 2016, so just this time last year, it's been about one year now, when I decided to let go, to just let go of everything in my life that I thought I needed, and I just believed in everything that I wanted to do for the last eight years of my life, and I went 100% online. In the first month, I think I made like, in bot, I'll tell you in dollars. So basically it was like 900 or $1,000 or something like that, my first month teaching on Powfish, like 100%. And then December came and I would start to increase. Then I went from like 1.1 RMB to 1.5 RMB per minute. And I worked my way up. And I was just online all the time, talking, listening. Sometimes I didn't even have my video on because this, again, it was like when I was really not that, I mean, I was okay, you know, but I was a little, I was a rookie on Palfish, you know? And I didn't have a a holder or my cell phone. I was always holding it. You know, I didn't have something to place it down on. Just totally amateur. So when I got something to keep the camera steady, when I got this light right here, you see? Yeah, maybe that's kind of cool right now, but this LED light, it makes such a huge, huge difference. And everyone can see you clearly. So these little things also added up to how much money I make on Palfish. And then here, boom. When I finally got the 2.0 RMB per minute, um, by then I had mostly all kids some people were like IELTS people and TOEFL people or postgraduates or even uh, workers, employees, you know, business English people. They were trying, hey, can you please do it for a little bit cheaper? And, you know, I can't go that cheap, you know. I, so basically, November was like 900 and then December um, almost doubled. Basically, right, 50% almost perfect doubled about what, what I made. And then January was when like the new year came in. I remember New Year's Day, I'll never forget that. New Year's Day, I was sitting on this sofa back here on the phone with one of my students. And they were like, New Year's Day, happy new year. You're not taking the day off. And I'm like, no, like this is my year. You're like, let's do it, you know? So I said that New Year's Day, this is going to be my year on Powerfish. This is the year that I'm gonna like be like the rock and just lay the smack down. I'm not, you know, not in an egotistical manner, but like I wanted to go all out. I knew what was possible. And what I started to do in January was it wasn't 100% consistent. You know, I still have not made a video every single day, like for two weeks straight. I haven't done that yet. That's one of my big goals. If I can make a video every freaking day, for like one month, 30 days, 30 videos, that would be a huge accomplishment. That's what I need to make a new goal. So in January, I still started putting out videos almost every day. And people, even if it was like 75 people who watched it, or if it was 56 people who watched it, 
or if it was 177 or 220. It didn't matter. I just kept doing it because some people didn't watch one video or watch the other video. Everybody's different. There's so many people out there. So don't be so, yeah, the numbers are cool when you see how many people watch your video and the comments. Yeah, that's all great. But again, that is uh, more macro. You need to look at the micro perspective of the influence and the value that you're creating with the people who are watching those videos. Because if you can build a following on videos, people will know you, people will remember you as someone who is really taking the time out of their day to do free videos. And that's the truth. From January to mid-February, I was just like crushing it. And I had this one student, hey Polly, I got helped her get, she did it by herself, but I prepped her for the interview. So this one student had so many hours with me. By then it was like, 2.2 RMB per minute that I was charging, okay? 2.2 RMB per minute as my rate with all the students. So I was having so many hours with this one student preparing her to be a teacher in, in uh, USA to teach Chinese in a public school. So that was a huge accomplishment when I got someone from China, prepared them, and then boom, got them to America. Um, so anyway, after that, it's this experience, there's one thing here in Chiang Mai, there's like the burning season. And I'm not here to try to see like Chiang Mai is like this dream perfect place. Hopefully this year, it will be better. I think it will be, hopefully next year it's going to be a lot better. But for like four weeks really, like the smoke, you can't see the mountain because the fires in Northern Thailand, all the farmers are burning their cornfields and it just creates this crazy smoke. There's no regulation on it. It happens in Myanmar, happens in Laos, happens in Thailand. And I'm sure probably some provinces in Western China. So anyway, that happens and I was stressed from work. I wasn't eating well, wasn't taking care of myself. So anyway, I had to go to Laos to do a visa run. When I came back, I had to reorganize myself. Because I did January kind of peak out, I made quite a bit of money. Now, one of the things, because I can only have 15 minutes on this YouTube uh, video, the next video that I really want to make is about how I made 4,000 US dollars in one month on Palfish. I got the proof, I can take the screenshot, I can show you guys, and um, I would say, to everyone out there who stayed for the end of this video, so no one can kind of criticize and say, hey, you did, you said this title, how much money do you make? You didn't answer. Okay, well, here's the answer. So, I have basically averaged anywhere between, I would say, $1,900 to $4,000, I know it's kind of, well, I'd say $2,000, to 4,000 US dollars. Now I know that's a big range, but once you are a big boy, once you're a big girl, once you get in there on Palfish, you make a name for yourself, once you establish yourself as an influence, someone who can create value and become an official teacher, you definitely need that. These are an official Palfish teacher shirts. So if you got any questions about becoming an official teacher, please ask below, I'd love to help you out there, love to help you through that process. A lot of teachers watch this, these YouTube videos, came, now they're official teachers, um, helping people, making money, doing what they like to do. So congratulations to everyone out there. On the final note on this, again, you guys heard about how much money I make. I'm sharing that you know, as personal information, but uh, I wanna be as real and transparent as I possibly can. I went from $900, okay, like my first month, living abroad and all that. It was very stressful, I was very worried. And now everything's cool. I can sustain myself. I got more videos to come on exactly how I made that 4,000. It was in July this year. Everybody, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching this whole video. It really means so much to me. If you got any questions, let me know. Share this video with some other teachers. More people need to know about Palfish. It's freedom. You can create any kind of life you want. Keep the dream alive within yourself. You're more powerful than you can ever imagine. Have a great day. Adios, amigos.